If I could, I would wear a 100-pound vest, but actually, I don't need that anymore. I don't have one. I don't know where to find one, but I do know where to find a 40-pound vest, is, which is what I'm going to eventually upgrade into. So what I'm getting at is, because it's, it's very bizarre, and I'm aware of that, but if you've been watching any of my stuff, welcome to the madness. You already know I'm a bizarre fucking person. So, it's time to dive deep into this. The reason why I love this so much is because one of my love languages is physical touch. But if you've ever met me, my f biggest thing is don't touch me, leave me the fuck alone. And what the hell do you want? Because people always want something. Sometimes it's just your time. Sometimes they physically want you to pick up something. Sometimes they want you to fuck them. Sometimes they want you to compliment them. Sometimes they just want you to perceive their existence. Sometimes they just want you to listen. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. And I'm somebody somebody comes to, and sometimes I'm the messenger. Sometimes I'm the karmatic uh, revenge. So sometimes I'm the asshole that has to be the asshole because you did something to someone and now karma's coming back and karma somehow looks as sexy as I do for some reason. But hey, you could have had worse people giving you karmatic things because typically I would consider myself a fair fucking person. Like, if I don't know you that well, I'm not going to go that hard. But if I know you in detail, oh, well. <laughs> I like to specialize things to the best of my abilities. But I can only say and do so many things with as limited as my education is. Now we know. Uh, I actually don't even know what all I know. I just know that I love wearing this because it's like being hugged. I'm just going to start trying to implement this when I want to feel like I want to hug somebody, but I don't want to deal with the whole entire fussy connection issue. What, what I mean by connection issue is I am sensitively insensitive, and I don't know how to explain that aside from the way that I continue doing by saying sensitively, sensitively insensitive. As in, if I stand too close to you, I can feel your energy field, and some people I don't even need to be close to them. I can just fucking feel it. And I... Growing up, I didn't realize that most of the times the reason why I was so dysregulated emotionally is because I was feeling other people's emotions and I was freaking out because these aren't mine. What the fuck? Where the fuck is this coming from? Oh my God. And sometimes, because I've learned that about myself. If I'm in a room, if the person is sleepy, regardless of how much sleep that I get, I start to become tired as well as I'm the type that I have like sleeper mode in me. But also if the person is very agitated, I start to feel agitated. If the person is happy, I start to feel extremely happy. It's just like, how the fuck do I control this? Because like, I don't like having to share emotions. I already have to share this whole entire world. I already have to share my ears. I already have to share my time. I already have to share basically everything. Can I have one more fucking thing to myself? I guess the fuck not. So, like, growing up, I had to figure out, and even till this day, I'm still trying to figure out whose are these, why, and ignore them. Like, I'm very good about not interacting with any of my emotions and any of my feelings, and I should also put this as a warning. If I'm ever around you, this is more or less for females and dudes, because I don't get erections around dudes. Don't pay attention to it. Just ignore it, because I'm ignoring it. I promise you. I don't give a shit about it. It just happens. I don't know why it grows like that. I don't know why it's up like that. There's a reason why I wear the things that I do. I like to wear bigger and baggy clothing for multiple reasons. One, I don't like it when it's tight on me, although there are some times that I do want it to be tight on me, which I know I said my love language is physical touch, so wouldn't I want something that just feels like somebody's hugging me all the time? No, leave me the fuck alone. Stop touching me. Why do you think I'm wearing this right now? I don't always have it on me. I only have it on me when I remember to have it on me and when I want to, like, hug someone but don't want to hug someone because of the whole entire energy distribution and how weird it is and sometimes how confused and how not everybody feels huggable and just like cuddleable and just like some people just get the fuck away from me some people don't i i, I held you forever get, pick up your feet i'll walk with you i'm a strong person um either fucking way it's just i don't know i feel as if going through all the things that i did have ma has made me both stronger and a little bit more jaded as well as calculated when it comes to the interactions i make because i'm out here trying to have fun as I assume some people are, but for the fact that we all define fun differently, some people define fun as lighting things on fire and then running away from it. Some people define fun as staying inside playing board games. Some people define fun as going out for the whole entire night, watching a movie, going on a dinner date, then going stargazing, and going on some fucking nature adventure. Some people consider having fun hunting pedophiles, murderers, uh, child abductors. Some people define having fun as staying in and watching a bunch of YouTube videos. Some people define... I don't fucking know. I gave you guys a good extensive list of what the fuck fun could possibly be. And one of my versions of fun is going to the fucking gym and working out with somebody. One of my favorite versions of fun is 
going and spending quality time with somebody out in the fucking nature. Rather, if it's during the day, I've never done night adventures with people. I typically do it by myself. But honestly, if I could find somebody cool enough, I wouldn't mind it. If you're going to try to kill me, bitch, I'm going to try to kill you too. But I always say, please don't kill me. That's my fucking job. Or Uncle Sam's. Um, like, I just, I'm just out here trying to catch a vibe. And some of these people are like, ill you're weird i'm just like but you're just projecting so really you're just admitting to me that you're weird but you're not even my type of weird because at least my type of weird isn't the weird that people dislike i'm the type of weird like get that motherfucker a stage get that motherfucker a night night <laughs> get that motherfucker a mic get that motherfucker a camera get that motherfucker some shit so we can continue consuming it i'm that type of weird Whereas some of you guys are the type of weird that don't get that you're weird because you're projecting on people and you're expecting people to bend to your will. And it's just like, well, some will and some won't. And I'm some of those that will and won't depending on who you are because some people I definitely like and enjoy. I have favorite people. And it's not my fault. Some of you guys suck. You absolutely fucking suck to be around, suck to communicate with. Your energy absolutely makes me feel even more off wax. So I avoid you as much as possible because at the end of the day, I'm in control of myself. It doesn't matter what he said. It doesn't matter what she said. It doesn't matter what they did. It's what I do in reaction towards what they did. And they're not going to ask what they did. They're going to be like, why did you do that? And it's like, I was provoked. Well, yeah, well, 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 oh, well. And I guess I have to be better than everybody else that's around me. So I just refuse to be around those that don't give a fuck, have no accountability and or audacity because I don't know what your group looks like. But some people can hide in their groups and some people get pushed out by the group and some people don't belong to a group. But I'm just like, well, I don't belong to a group. I can be accepted in many groups, but I see how shady that they get and how quick they stab other people inside their groups. So I'm like, I don't want to be in groups because I don't know who the fuck's stabbing me. What the fuck's stabbing me? But better not be a penis. But if I have my choice between a penis and a knife, it better be a penis because I don't want it to be a knife. Actually, never mind. I'd rather be a knife because if at least it's a knife, I can show people the wounds. Because if it was a penis, it's like, why didn't you move? I don't fucking know. Either fucking way. Like, it's weird being me, but I'm pretty sure we all have this weird experience about being ourselves or experiencing other people. I just know that when I want to be hugged, I'm just going to put this 12-pound vest on because it's a lot less emotionally um, confusing as well as, I don't know, it helps with the workouts. Like, if I walk around with a 12-pound vest on every single day for, I don't know, I'd say about a month or something like that, I would definitely see some more leg gains. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ugh, hamstrings need some work. But I'm like, eh, eh, eh. but until then, I don't know. It definitely, like I said, I love it for the hug purpose. But I still want to get something heavier, like a forty pounder, if not a hundred pounder. I don't know if I could find a hundred pounder. My also issue with the designing of the vest is I don't even like this design. But I like it a lot better than the forty pound design because the forty pound design. It's a little bit thicker around the shoulders, which I don't think it hugs it all that well, as well as it straps like this, or at least one of the 40-pound designers, because now I think about it, there's probably multiple designs. Straps on the chest as well as straps around the waist, but I don't feel as if it holds as secure as this. When it comes to jumping up and down, there's like a little bit of a flap that hangs around down in this area. Maybe I'll be able to show you guys if I get the same type of 40-pound vest that I've had before. I fucking hate it! So hopefully, because that one I think I bought in like 20... 16, 17, I don't know, I've been frustrated when I bought that one. Either way, I hope that I could find a 100 pound vest just because, like, I want hugs, but I don't want to deal with you humans most of the times. And some people, like I said, some people are good to hug, but I don't want to, I don't want to fucking Goldilocks and the three bear the bitch. Too hot, too cold, too hot, too cold. Ah, you feel like hell. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep you back for nighttime fun. Too hot. Too cold. Oh, you feel like you just feel like a Snorlax if a Snorlax was actually real, not just a Pokemon thing. I'm going to take you to bed with me. I don't fucking know. I just know that my madness isn't going to leak onto you unless you ask for it. And the way that you ask for it is by not respecting any of my terms and or agreements when it comes to interacting with me. You can choose to accept or you can choose not to. If you choose not to accept, then I guess we'll just continue. 